In this video, the mounting of paper objects with V and T hinges is explained. The two methods and the required materials are presented, as well as showing the micro dot method. There are various ways of mounting objects in Passepartouts, the two most common of which are V and T hinges, named after the arrangement of the Japanese paper strips. On the one hand, V hinges are not visible from the front, which is why they are best suited for objects that appear to float inside a frame. On the other hand, T hinges are visible, but more stable and therefore appropriate for larger and heavier objects. For V and T hinges, following supplies are needed. Japanese paper cut into strips the thickness and size of the strips can vary depending on the object the hinge is applied to. Wheat starch paste, a brush, a bone folder and polyester film. To make a V hinge, a strip of Japanese paper is folded about one third of the length and turned over. The shorter part is coated with wheat starch paste. The coated hinge is glued to one corner of the top edge of the object and carefully pressed with a bone folder. The hinge should be about one millimeter below the edge of the object so that the Japanese paper is not visible afterwards. Then the hinge is left to dry under weight with fleece and blotting paper. The second upper corner of the object is hinged in the same way. Once the adhesive has dried, the object is positioned, weighted within the passepartout. The second half of the strip is coated with paste on polyester film and then folded under the object. To ensure that the fold only adheres to the frame and not to the object, an L-shaped piece of polyester film is placed as a barrier. The L-shape makes it easier to remove the film at a later stage. Once completely dry, the hinge is ready. The reverse side of the object is still visible. To make a T-hinge, two Japanese paper strips are glued to the back of the object as for the V-hinge. Then the object is positioned, weighted within the passepartout. A piece of polyester film is placed on the object and Japanese paper strips are folded down. This allows the fold to be coated with paste while protecting the object from the adhesive. The fold is glued to the passepartout frame and pressed. Next, another strip of Japanese paper is coated with paste and glued to the frame over the edge of the object. The hinge is dried, weighted with fleece and blotting paper. After drying, the back of the object is still visible and the object is properly hinged. For objects that are sensitive to moisture, as little adhesive as possible should be used. The micro dot method is suitable for this. The paste is only applied selectively using a stamp or stencil. When using a stamp, the paste is applied to a smooth surface with a brush. The paste is collected with the stamp and applied on the Japanese paper. Here, the paste has been colored to better show the distribution of the dots. As an alternative, a stencil can also be used 
to apply the micro dot method. To make a stencil, following supplies are needed. A cutting mat, a hole punch or similar, with a diameter of approximately 1.2 to 1.5 millimeters, and a piece of polyester film. Holes are punched in the film at regular intervals using a hole punch. Next, the stencil is positioned on the Japanese paper. The wheat starch paste is applied with a brush. Finally, the film is removed. Now the adhesive lies in small dots on the Japanese paper. Here, the paste has been colored to better show the position of the dots. The anti-hinges are suitable to easily hinge paper objects, leaving the back side visible. The hinge type is chosen depending on the object which needs to be secured. When handling objects which are sensitive to moisture, the adhesive can be applied following the micro dot method.